Hey guys, what's up? So we all have a lovely pooch or a pet that just adores you, but sometimes these pets can leave a little surprise for you when you come home. Until now, there wasn't a solution for a robot vacuum that can avoid this type of poop. Well, we might have just the answer. Roblox just released the newest robot vacuum, the Roblox S6 Max V, and yes, it's available today, so check out my link below if you want to find out more about this robot vacuum. Roblox is the first robot vacuum manufacturer that came out with a robot vacuum that can actively avoid poo. Yes, there's a saying called pet details. So you're probably scratching your head, you're like, Nathan, but what about the EcoVacs? They came out with the 960 a year before the S6 Max V, and the newly released T8 came out as well. Well, yes, those robots do have a front-facing camera and can avoid objects, but these objects don't include poo. So in this video, we'll talk about why you should get the S6 Max V and why you shouldn't get it. If you're a fan of technology and you love the Roblox, it's a no-brainer you should get the Roblox S6 Max V. It's the best technology that Roblox has to offer, has to boost 2500 pascals, also has longer battery life at 180 minutes over its previous models, also has that front facing camera, yes it's a stereo vision camera paired with the APQ8053 processor which is a Qualcomm processor, it's a very good processor, it's very quick and according to Roblox it's 50% quicker than its previous generation Roblox S6. So yes, having a robot that can avoid the poo is nice, but maybe someday we'll have a robot that can pick up the poo and dispose it properly. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? I didn't see you guys there. Hey, be sure to smash that like button. It really helps out this channel. And whoa, look at, check out my smart glasses. I'm actually watching the video while filming, editing, all that crazy stuff. It's amazing with technology these days, being able to watch a video and simultaneously multitask. Alright, let's keep on going. Roblox is no stranger when it comes to navigation. In all the Roblox lineups, they offer the best navigation in the industry. And with the S6 Max V, with that stereo front facing camera, uses a wide range of sensors, the camera system, the LiDAR sensor, the physical bump sensor, to navigate around these small objects. That's nothing compared to this new Bob Shark 2 I got on my channel. This guy can open up the pantry door for me, also can put away all the leftover items. Instead of just navigating around them, it actually puts the items away. Bob Shark 2 also has an advanced Qualcomm processor like the Roblox S6 Max V, but instead of running only about a couple gigahertz, this processor runs at a couple teraflops. I believe it's like 16 teraflops per second. Yes, it's a supercomputer in a robot vacuum. Quite amazing. So the Bob Shark's built for you in mind, so once it's done picking up all the objects you left on the ground, it will kindly shut the door for you so you don't have to worry about shutting the door on your own. According to Roblox, this camera system can recognize objects as small as 2 inches wide and 1.1 inches tall. On this channel, I've tested a handful of LiDAR-based uh, vacuums like the 360 lineup, the Prusenic M7 Pro. I've also tested some no-name brands like the Lambot A1, and the Roblox models are the only ones that can successfully navigate this chair leg challenge test. Now, if you look closely, there's only a couple of millimeters on each side, and the finesse of the Roblox surpasses anything out on the market. So why does Roblox consistently outperform the competitions when they release new products? Well, it has to do with their navigation algorithms. It's one of the best in the business. Right out of the gate, the very first Roblox model was the Xiaomi Mi, but it was actually named brand as Xiaomi and Roblox was like their parent company. That robot vacuum did really well and it kind of was a game changer in terms of LiDAR based navigation. Over the years, the navigation has gotten better and also the mapping process. Now, the S6 Max V can support up to four maps like the new S5 Max and also allows you to physically move the robot without having to change the map on the app. Well, maybe you have some siblings fighting over a bag of candy. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't end well. It seems like everyone these days have a smartphone in their hands. So luckily, with just a few taps, you can tell your robot vacuum to clean up the mess. So I've been using the S6 Max V for a couple weeks, so here's what I learned. I learned that by default everything's turned off, so I recommend turning on everything, the map saving, the camera recognition, and try out the settings. Determine what you like and what you don't like, you can always turn those off later in the future. In this demonstration, I have the camera turned off, but if you turn on pet detail, the camera recognition is more sensitive, and it's more likely to recognize these types of objects. Alright, let's see how much the robot picked up. The dustbin size is around 480 milliliters. If you only own it like the previous models, like an S6, S5 Max, honestly, I don't think there's any reason to really upgrade unless you really want that front facing camera. I have found that previous Roblox models did really well picking up this type of debris. In this challenge, I did a bunch of beads and was able to pick up these 
uh, types of objects. It also is able to pick up large objects like almonds and smaller objects like powder and fine dust. Okay guys, don't tell anyone, but I have to spill the beans on Roblox's latest creation. This is the Roblox S7 Max VVV++. Yes, it's more boxier, and it stands taller so it can't get under any furniture, but hey, look, it's Roblox. Okay, sorry for the bad check. Alright, let's check out the actual Roblox models. So we got the S5 Max, we got the E4, and the S6, and these models are very good. So if you own any of these, I don't think there's a reason to upgrade unless you want that. 2500 pascals or the camera system. Okay, let's check out the stereo camera in action. This is the type of debris that Roblox lists on their website that the robot can navigate. It has the power strip. We also have the shoes. Uh, one thing to know is with shoestrings, the robot can get hung up on. So maybe in the future, Roblox can provide a larger boundary area around the objects. But for the most part, the robot does a really good job picking up the beads around these objects. The camera system can also detect objects in complete darkness as well. Let's talk about some of the quirks that the S6 Max V has. The first thing I noticed is the robot sometimes forgets where the object location is. Even though the camera clearly saw the object, it actually kept moving forward. Um, maybe it's the lighting of the camera, or maybe it just completely forgot the location of the object. On the app, it does show like different types of objects, and it will show a percentage of like how confident it is that it recognized the correct object. Now, that unicorn right there is not an object that the robot recognized, but it was still able to detect it with its camera and navigate around it. There's millions and millions of different types of objects out there in the real world, and unfortunately, there's not enough memory for the robot to memorize all these objects. Right now, the robot has up to, I believe, five different types of objects in its memory bank, and over time, there will be more added. But there's a technique called neural network learning, which the robot actually can learn the locations of the objects, and over time will remember where they are and effectively navigate around them. Yes, even the most advanced machines can glitch and sometimes forget where the poo should go. Let's take a comparator here. This robot has a lot of base sensors as well, minus the front-facing camera. You notice that without the front-facing camera, the robot actually physically moves the objects around, but can't physically see the object and navigate around them. Uh, we'll do a comparison with the Roblox S6 Max V with the front-facing camera on, and you see the differences and how it navigates these objects. You notice that infrared light that was in the front of the robot? Yes, that's an invisible light that helps uh, illuminate the subject so the camera can see in complete darkness. And you notice how well the robot actually effectively goes around the objects without actually moving them too much? While this robot's not perfect, I think it's one of the best robot vacuums out there. So if you have the money to spare and you want one of the best robot vacuums, uh, the S6 Max V is hard to beat. Okay, so let's go ahead and wrap up this video. So if you're looking to upgrade your Roblox or you're looking to get into a robot vacuum market, well, the Roblox S6 Max V offers a lot of great features to navigation. Also can vacuum and mop at the same time, as well as being able to easily remove the hair. That's very important to clean the extractor bars easily. And lastly, all the models are very similar so you can interchange the components like the dustbins, the extractor bars, the side brushes. Alright, have a great rest of your day. And thanks so much for watching, subscribing, like, dislike my video, and stay tuned for next time and be safe out there. Bye!